here on the Grace booth with Michael Grace, who's going to show us the latest in monitor controllers, and I must say it looks rather impressive. So this is covering all the surround bases, I guess. Yes, so this is, uh, this is our new surround sound monitor controller, the M908. Uh, it's based on a 24-channel processor, so it can handle speaker systems up to 24 channels, uh, but perfectly comfortable in stereo as well. Uh, it's designed to be able to do, uh, you know, all the various Dolby Atmos formats and other immersive surround sound formats. Uh, it's based on uh, our latest generation of uh, digital to analog converters and clocking technology. So to, to begin with, the, uh, the, the audio performance is, is uh, best we've ever done. Uh, but then on top of that, um, we've, you know, we've added a considerable amount of um, uh, processing features for the monitor controller uh, environment. So, um, for instance, uh, there's full bass management, so crossovers for all of your speakers, managing your subwoofers, there's channel delays, um, there's room correction EQs on every speaker output. Um, the box uh, has uh, upwards of 96 digital input possibilities um, from AES to light pipe, uh, Digilink, uh, Dante, Maddy, um, and did I miss one? ADAT. I think there's ADAT inputs as well. Um, so uh, it's a very flexible box, can be configured for all different types of workflows, whether you're doing 5.1 you know, for television broadcast or 7.1. Uh, so on this side, you have the input selects. Inputs can be defined, you can label them, uh, custom label them, and, uh, and you basically take an input connector and map it to your processing engine. And then on the output side, uh, you map the processor engine outputs to your various speaker systems. So you can have uh, you basically software definable configurations of all your loudspeakers. You can share speakers between surround systems. Um, so it's very flexible in that way. Uh, so these are your speaker select buttons. Uh, you've got full talkback functionality. Um, these buttons are uh, are user definable right now they're set up for various down mix options mm -hmm. this is your solo mute matrix here so any speaker in your system uh, you can solo it or if you hit this button now it's uh, now it's subtracting them from the system uh, so that's the solo mute um, dim mono uh, mon monitor to cue takes whatever you're listening to in the control room and sends it out the uh, stereo cue channels uh, down mixed, of course, if, if you're listening to a surround uh, source. Um, so that, that's the basics of the remote control. We, you know, we have built it with extremely high quality long life switches and, uh, and encoders, um, knowing that you know, if you're gonna be pounding on it all day, um, you know, we want it to hold up and be completely dependable. So what's the maximum number of physical outputs you can accommodate with this? Um, the maximum number of uh, analog channels is 16. The box comes standard with 16 D to A channels. Uh, but with additional digital outputs, you can have a 24 channel speaker system. Yeah. Well, it looks very comprehensive. So uh, what's the shipping and costing on this? Um, so the base price um, without options is about $7,400. Uh, it'll be shipping next month uh, or December. Sorry, it's next month. <laughs> November? Yeah, we're still in October. Before Sorry. Christmas. Uh, yes, before Christmas. Uh, um, so the base model um, uh, is about 7,400, and then options are um, eight channel A to D modules. If you want to add analog inputs, uh, you can do up to 16 analog inputs, with the two eight channel modules. Uh, and those are about under 1,000 each. Um, and then the digital I.O. option modules include a Dante module, a Digilink module, uh, and coming a little later next year will be a MADI module. Uh, yeah, so those are the, those are the digital I.O. modules that are, that are slated um, for well, now. Keep pretty so, much everybody happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, thanks for that, Michael. Yeah, thanks so much for coming by.